students of first year degree today we shall be dealing with question tags this is another part of grammar that you have for study so what are question tags when do you make use of question tags there are certain rules which you have to follow when you use question tags now to be very simple i'll give you an example of a question tag uh for example it is very cold today isn't it so isn't it is the question tag it is very cold today is a statement okay it is a statement so if you look at these two parts it is very cold today comma isn't it you put a question mark at the end of the question tag you see that it has got two parts that is it is very cold today is a statement a positive statement isn't it is the question tag now when you look at the slide you will see that the first point there the first bullet point that says that question tag is a grammatical structure in which an imperative statement is turned into a question by the addition of a interrogative tag or a question tag interrogative means a question interrogation means asking questions okay now we have plenty of time this is a statement an imperative statement is it clear we have plenty of time haven't we that is a question tag so a short question at the end of the statement is a question tag a short there are they are short questions at the end of the statements once again let us look at it we have plenty of time this is a statement at the end of it you have the question tag haven't we so when do you use a question tag question tags are generally used in conversations when you want to confirm whether something is true or not question tags are used in conversation in speech when you want to confirm to be very sure whether what you are stating is true or not or to make it more simple when you want a yes or a no for an answer when you want to make sure confirm whether you are right or wrong next how do you form a question tag a question tag 
is formed with the auxiliary or modal verb from the statement and the appropriate pronoun that is verb plus pronoun plus the question mark once again we are going to look at only these two examples it is very cold today isn't it now i said how do you form a question tag when i said that i i made the statement that you have to form it by using an auxiliary or a modal verb now what is this modal verb or helping verb in the example that we have taken it is very cold today is is the helping verb and it is the pronoun it is the pronoun now what you are going to do is take the helping verb or the modal or the auxiliary is and make it negative because this is a positive statement you're going to make it negative is changes to isn't isn't and at the after that you're going to add the pronoun it it is very cold isn't it is converts to the negative form is becomes is not or isn't it i s n apostrophe t when you write okay isn't it and then at the end of that you have to add a add the question mark so let us look at the rules a positive statement is followed by a negative tag the same sentence we will once again repeat it is very cold today i've already explained is becomes negative see this it is very cold is a positive statement and when you want to ask a question when you want somebody to agree with what you are saying then you use the negative tag isn't it i've given you two more examples here there was a lot of traffic positive statement wasn't there it becomes a negative tag was is the auxiliary verb it is positive you will change it to negative by making it was plus not wasn't and you're going to write it as w a s n f o s t p h e t there is the pronoun which you are going to repeat and then put a question mark look at the second example mary can speak english can't she now 
Mary can. Noun plus the modal can. Now when you want to add question tag. Mary can speak English. You want to be sure. So what do you do now? To the given statement, the positive helping verb can is converted to the negative form cannot, can't. Mary is the noun. You have to convert it to the pronoun and make it can't she. So, Mary can speak English. Positive statement is followed by a negative question tag. Can't she? Now, looking at the second rule there, second point. A negative statement takes or is followed by a positive tag. When your statement is negative, positive tag. For example, they don't like us. Don't. When you add no, never, hardly, then the sentence becomes negative. You say that the sentence is negative. When you use not in a sentence, no in a sentence, then the sentence becomes negative. So here, they do not. Do plus not don't. They don't like us is a negative statement. It takes a positive question tag. Do they? Jim won't be late. Will he? Won't becomes will. Jim, the pronoun you have to use for Jim is he. Then you put the question mark. Note that we often use a negative sentence plus positive tag to ask for things, to ask for information or to ask somebody to do something. And then the voice goes up. You haven't got a pen, have you? So, I am sure you don't have a pen. I want to confirm. I want to make sure that you don't have a pen. I am asking for information. And that is why I raised my voice. You haven't got a pen, have you? Again, the meaning of the question tag depends on how you say it. If your voice goes down. You are not really asking a question, but you are asking the listener to agree with you. For example, it is a nice day, isn't it? But if you say, if you are really asking a question, then your voice goes up. You haven't seen Mary today, have you? Look at the difference. Okay. In the first statement, it is a nice day. Isn't it? So you are asking the listener to agree with you and he says, yes, it is a nice day. Now, there are certain rules which you have to follow while making use of question tags. 
So supposing you are using let's. That is a suggestion. The question tag will be shall we. Let's go for a walk. Shall we? Let's go to a movie. Shall we? So you are asking the person or you are making a more than asking you are making a suggestion. So when you suggest something when you use let's then the question tag will be shall we. Next point after the imperative. You're giving a command do or don't do something then the question tag will be will you open the door will you so there it is an imperative sentence shut up will you Come here, will you? So these are all sentences which are imperative and that is why you have to use the question tag, will you? Next, when the verb in the main sentence is in the present simple, we form the question tag with do or does. You play the guitar. Don't you? So this is a sentence in the simple present tense. And the auxiliary verb is not present. You cannot see it. But you understand. You play the guitar means you do play the guitar. So it is a positive sentence which will take a negative question tag. It is in simple present. So you have to use the verb do. You play the guitar, don't you? Alison likes tennis. Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Next, if the verb is in the past simple, if it is in the present, then do or does. If it is in the past simple, then the verb that you have to use is did. They went to the cinema. Went is past form. They went to the cinema. Didn't they she studied in new zealand didn't she so here you have the simple past where you are going to use the verb did when you form the question tag if the if 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 it is positive then it is did how do you make it negative did not by adding not okay next you have exceptions to the rules for example when you are using uh, the the form i am The, the interrogative form of I am is aren't I. For example, I am attractive. You say 
aren't I? I am older than you, ain't I? Okay, when you use am, I am, the question tag, the interrogative form of I am will be aren't I. Now, sentences with words which with words like few, seldom, hardly are all considered negative. For example, few can speak French, can they? Now, few is considered to be a negative form and that is why you are going to use a positive question tag. Okay. Now, stop daydreaming, interactive sentence. Will you? I have already told you about this. It is an imperative sentence. Stop daydreaming. Listen. Open the door. All these will carry the question tag. Will you? Or won't you? If it is negative inter int, int, imperative, don't stop singing. Don't drop the glass. Again, the question tag will be, will you? When you use something, nothing, the pronoun in the tag will become it. But when you use nobody, somebody, everybody, everyone, then the pronoun will change to they. So students, this, these are a few things that I want to tell you about uh, this part of grammar that you have for study. That is question tags. So in your textbooks, that is uh, the BA students, in your textbook, you have um, chapter 3, question tags, that is on page 98. You can uh, go through them and work out the exercises that are there on page 99. 99, 100, 101. So you will understand the things better if you work out the exercises there on these pages. So also um, BSc students, you have um, question tags again on BSc, BCA students. You can turn to page 43 in your textbooks. 43, 44, page 44, 45 and 46, 47. You have question tags. So, after you listen to me, just go back to the grammar part in your textbooks and brush up whatever you have heard. I think it will help you to understand question tags better. So for the BA, BA students uh, or BSc students very clearly, there, are, there is explanation also on question tags. 
students if you have any doubts you could uh, post your doubts on my whatsapp number that is 8553813220 so i will be happy to help you thank you students